simply learn. Your pace, your place. Hello, and welcome to the introduction to cloud computing course offered by Simply Learn. This introductory module will give us a brief account about the Cloud Essentials certification and its objectives. We will begin by looking into the agenda of this module in the next slide. In this module, we will discuss what CompShear Cloud Essentials is, about CompShear, the objectives of this certification, CompShear Cloud Essentials examination, the question pattern for this certification exam. In addition, we will also take into account what the tutorial will cover with respect to the exam, a list of practice questions for professionals, module mapping, and other reference materials that are available for the preparation. Moving on, let us understand what CompShear Cloud Essentials is. The CompShear Cloud Essentials Speciality Certification demonstrates that an individual knows what cloud computing means from a business and technical perspective, as well as the aspects involved in moving to and governing the cloud. The CompShear Cloud Essential exam covers characteristics of cloud services from a business perspective, business value of cloud computing, technical perspective or cloud types, steps to successful adoption, impact and changes on IT service management, and risks and consequences. Although it is not mandatory, Comshear recommends that a candidate should work for at least six months in an environment that markets or relies on IT-related services before appearing for this exam. We will find out more about Comshear in the following slide. Comshear is the leading provider of vendor neutral certifications in the world. It offers 16 certification exams in PC support, networking, servers, training, Linux, security, IT sales, green IT, and more. Comshear has been delivering certification exams for more than 15 years and is committed to continually improve the service we provide to the industry. Comshear's strength in certification comes in no small part from the support it receives from the industry. Thousands of companies depend on Comshear standards to provide a reliable predictor of employee success. Additionally, dozens of companies with their own certification programs rely on Comshear exams to establish an industry standard for foundation level skills which serves as prerequisites or electives in their certification programs. Headquartered outside of Chicago, they have offices in the United States, India, Japan, South Africa, and the United Kingdom. Next, we will understand the essentials of Comshear Cloud Computing. The Cloud Essentials exam covers six areas, each of which is defined and detailed throughout the course. They are the characteristics of cloud services from a business perspective, the business value offered by cloud computing, the technical perspectives involved in cloud computing, steps to successful adoption of cloud, impact and changes of cloud computing on IT service management, and the risk and consequences of cloud computing. Let us find out more about Comshear Cloud Essentials exam in the following slide. The exam comprises a total of 50 questions to be answered within the duration of 60 minutes. The passing score is 720, and the exam is offered in three different languages, English, Japanese, and Portuguese. 
although it is not mandatory, a minimum of six months' experience in an IT services related organization is recommended. We will now look into the Cloud Essentials question pattern. The Cloud Essentials exam consists of multiple choice questions that cover the entire cloud computing domain. In a few instances, a question may represent a scenario, or a problem description, or a description of a situation. There may be two or more questions based on the scenario, or problem description, or a description of a situation. There is no penalty for wrong answers, no negative marking. All questions can be answered. It is advisable to identify the key words, most, best, first, etc., before selecting and recording the answer. Let us understand more about this tutorial in the following slide. This tutorial comprises a total of seven modules, of which this is the introductory one. Apart from Introduction to Cloud Computing, we have the modules like Characteristics of Cloud Services from a Business Perspective, Cloud Computing and Business Value, Technical Perspectives or Cloud Types, Steps to Successful Adoption of Cloud, Impact and Changes of Cloud Computing on IT Service Management, and Risks and Consequences of Cloud Computing. There are quizzes at the end of each module. We also provide two sets of test papers to make one well prepared for the exam. Let us find out more about the practice questions provided by Simply Learn. In our course, we have provided questions after each key chapters and a set of practice questions at the end of each module. The practice questions are to indicate how questions could be presented in the exam and should not be used as a source of knowledge. Practice questions may or may not be similar to questions that will appear on the actual exam. Practice questions should not be considered as a measurement of a candidate's ability to answer questions correctly on the exam for that area. Actual exam questions will test the candidate's practical application of the knowledge. In the next few slides, we will create a roadmap for the entire module. Module 1. Characteristics of Cloud Services from a Business Perspective In this module, we will explain the common terms and definitions of cloud computing and provide examples Describe the relationship between cloud computing and virtualization. Name early examples of cloud computing. Understand several common definitions of cloud computing and their commonalities or differences. Recognize what types of organizations might benefit from cloud computing and what types of organizations might not benefit from it. Distinguish between the different types of clouds, including SIAS, IaaS, PIaaS, and give examples of them. In the next slide, we will get glimpses of Module 2. Module 2 Cloud Computing and Business Value. Here, we will recognize the similarities and differences between cloud computing and outsourcing. Understand the various characteristics of clouds and cloud services from a business perspective, such as scalability, security, hardware independence, variable costs, and time to market. We will also demonstrate how the characteristics of cloud computing enhance business value. The next slide will give us an overview of Module 3. Module 3 – Technical Perspectives or Cloud Types 
This one will help us understand the difference between private and public types of clouds from a technical perspective and provide examples. It will also discuss at a high level the important techniques and methods for cloud computing deployment, such as networking, automation and self-service, federation and role of standardization. In addition, it will explain technical challenges and risks for cloud computing and discuss the methods to mitigate them for cloud storage, application performance, data integration and security. Also, describe the impact of cloud computing on application architecture and the application development process. The following slide will introduce us to Module 4. Module 4 – Steps to Successful Adoption of Cloud In this module, we will explain typical steps that lead to a successful adoption of cloud computing services that are Understand selection criteria for a pilot Relate SIAS, PIAS, IAS deployment to organizational goals we will understand the roles and capabilities of cloud computing vendors and dependencies on the vendors. Understand the following organizational capabilities that are relevant for realizing cloud benefits, such as skills that are required in an organization adopting cloud computing, critical success factors, and describe multiple approaches for migrating applications. The next slide will show us the roadmap of Module 5. Module 5 – Impact and Changes of Cloud Computing on IT Service Management In this module, we will understand the impact and changes of cloud computing on an IT service management in a typical organization by means of service strategy, service design, service operation, and service transition. We will use a structured approach based on ITIL to explore the potential impact of cloud computing in the organization. The following slide will introduce us to Module 6. Module 6 – Risks and Consequences of Cloud Computing In this module, we will explain and identify the issues associated with integrating cloud computing into an organization's existing compliance risk and regulatory framework in terms of security, legal aspects, compliance, and privacy risks. We will also explain the implications for direct cost and cost allocations and understand how to maintain strategic flexibility. Next, we will look into the different reference materials available. Here is a list of materials that can be used as reference for exam preparation and for a better understanding of the subject. Let's now summarize everything that we have covered in this module. We have finally come to the end of this module. We learned what CompShear Cloud Essentials is, about CompShear, the objectives of this certification, CompShear Cloud Essentials examination, and the question pattern for this certification exam. In addition, we have also understood what the tutorial will cover in respect to the exam. We also have a list of practice questions for professionals, module mapping, and other reference materials that are available for the preparation. In the next module, we will discuss what CompShare Cloud Essentials is. Thank you.